Central Middle School. If you want to step on up, please. Can you guys step up a little bit so oh, we can yeah. Thank you. I'm Lula Barakano. I am Charlotte Trimmel. I'm Peyton Cashton. And I'm Eli Rush. And we're here to talk about our um, annual event at Renfro called Culture of Caring. Who? Uh, there are multiple presenters from different organizations, and they come and help the students of Renfro help the community and help find their calling. And because, I mean, uh, if children aren't pushed in the way to help the community, they're not going to do it because they have video games and they have stuff to distract them. <laughs> like, I mean, kids don't just go out and say, hey, I want to build a house today. <laughs> so this is just a small sample of some of the organizations that come to our school and some of the organizations we actually go and help in our culture of caring program. Culture of Caring is a school-wide like, event kind of where um, people come in and talk about their uh, to talk about their like uh, what you call it? Uh, <laughs> okay, sure. yeah, there's oh organizations, nonprofit organizations, mm -hmm. and then uh, later in the year we go and uh, volunteer at some local organization or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where? So in the fall, the organizations come to us and they present about their um, what they do to volunteer and help out with the community. And then later in the year, in the spring, we act the students at Renfro go to these organizations and help out in the community. And some examples of where our students go and some of the organizations are the Chattahoochee Nature Center, MedShare, Atlanta Community Food Bank. Uh, Books for Africa. I love the idea of Books for Africa because um, people go out and they get to box up a bunch of books and they send them to people in Zimbabwe. And uh, I mean, it can help people get the education that maybe they couldn't get before. And reading is universal, so it's good. Operation Street Harvest. The Decatur Public Library, where students box up books for kindergartners who may need books because they're starting to learn to read and they can't do that if they don't have books. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta and the Wild Center, which is here in Decatur. City planning for the city of Decatur. And Decatur Cemetery, that's where I went last year. Um, we. Uh, we did like the weeds that were just growing, and uh, we raked and um, just picked up trash. We like made a beautiful place uh, nicer. Our house. Um, when? Um, so culture of caring is a two-part event, and um, the first day in the <coughs> fall. Um. There is uh, a day where uh, people come in and talk to us about what they do in the community to help people. And then um, on another day in the spring, we go uh, out into the community and every person does something to try to help. Why? Why? Because we need to teach children how to help people out, how they can help their community. Because, like I said before, they're not going to just go do it on their own. Everybody needs that extra push. Um, like, this might seem bad, but, like, why would you go out just, like, when you have a free day to yourself? Like, <laughs> I want to go rake some leaves in the cemetery today. Like, that's a good idea. I, I won't get caught by the police. It's great. Um, it's, uh, uh, culture of caring, uh, it's important. I mean, like, uh, it's it's uh, teach. It's, it's like helping kids maybe learn how to do important skills, like rake or <laughs> something that they, their parents are not making do. Um, culture of caring is important because 
we have to show them that they that we need to help the world and everybody in it that may be less fortunate than us. Um, I believe that the big reason culture of caring is important is because um, every every teacher uh, at every school has a chance to influence someone, and uh, why not teach someone to help people? So here's a feedback letter from one of our volunteer organizations that came to our school to present. And, um, this uh, shows that um, not only does it help the students who are participating, but it also is a big help to the uh, organizations that uh, we go and participate in. Are there any questions? What grade are you guys in again? I'm in eighth grade and I'm in seventh. Yeah, we're in eighth too. So two eighth graders and oh, the three, three eighth of us were in eighth and she's in seventh. Oh, okay. Yeah, seventh grader. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys did such a great job presenting. And I was going to add that your your presentation.